started the vlog yet, but we're at Ori. Oh my god, oh my god stop. Stuff is so good. Beautiful. Oh my god, the bread. Me and Andy have just done a little bit of a shoot from Earl's Court to, I think this is the Albert's, Albert Bridge, the pink yeah. pretty one. Got the shoot this morning and the sun's out. It's, it's going to so be lovely. really lovely for the next couple of days and then it's going to rain. <laughs> Apparently it's going to snow on this weekend. It's April. But it's what is going on? 22 degrees. You're heading off to Greenwich and I'm heading. I can walk home from here. Yeah, we're, we're doing a whole walking day, so. Lovely. You're going to have like the best Steps. Oh my god. Your steps are gonna be my, amazing. Everyone that I'm sharing like my Apple Watch fitness with, they're gonna be like, why is she closing yeah. her ring? She never does it. <laughs> never. Yeah, I've just literally had a teeth consultation as well, which I'll talk to you about. But yeah, we're having a lovely morning. Monday. Oh, I never knew that you would be the one. Hey. Oh, Dolly Trolley. <laughs> I'm actually starting the vlog properly now. Me and Hals are on our weekly shop. I've been to Source. We've done it in very good timing as well. As you can see, it's light outside. It's so lovely today. We did our shop at Source, Asta, and we're just going the long way around. We're kind of, oh, that's pretty in there. The weather's lovely, so. Yeah, might as well get the little yeah. legs out of Exactly, I nearly stepped in like a puddle. I don't know what that was. I hope you're doing well. We've got leftover ragu for dinner tonight, which is lovely. It's perfect, because Monday's kind of like our, our act together. Do some cleaning, sort the house out, ready for a good week. I think we're gonna catch sunset, which will be lovely. The house is blitzed. We literally came home, unpacked, cleaned the flat, and it looks so good. And we've just heated up some ragu. And it's so good. And we're gonna crack on with bowl type. And we got home before it got dark, which was yeah. just so lovely. It was just, oh, I love it. Clean before it got dark. Huh? Really? Clean before it, it's literally just got dark and it's just unreal. Like, I just, outside is just stunning. Oh, maybe I'll have some salad now. I wasn't gonna have salad because I was like really full, but then I'm like, well, not full, but just like, looks a bit too much, but. Love a bit of salad, don't we, darling? You just seen the uh, balsamic vinegar. It's the balsamic. It's the balsamic. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna call it a night and I will catch you guys tomorrow because I actually want to show you some new products that I've been using. So I'll catch you. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, so I thought I would do my makeup with you just to show you some new products that I am trying out and really enjoy it. And I'm not gonna do my whole makeup because I do do it quite a lot on here, but I thought I'd quickly show you a quick every everyday makeup look and new products I'm trying. I'm just gonna go in with some primer, just my normal Laura Mercier Perfecting Primer. I've actually just put on the Lumine, where's it gone? The Lumine Nordic Sea Booster and that was, oh, it just smelled beautiful. I saw, I saw it in the Fro user and it looked really lovely. So I knew I had it. So I was like, oh, I'll give that a go. So that was really nice. So I'm going to start using that in the morning. And I'm just going to quickly go in with some Make the Make Shimmer Drops. Really make my face glowy. It's supposed to be a really lovely day today. So I want to put makeup on because I'm shooting, but also as well, quite a light makeup, but because it's going to get hot later, which is lovely stuff. So I'm going to go in with the Twenty London. This is the BFF Serum in Distress the shade Claire and it's super lovely it's really nice their active tinted skincare formula helps to reduce the appearance of everyday stress on the skin the skin is instantly plumped and radiant wear alone on top of the SPF or just just a touch and build your preferred coverage it's a really good coverage as well which I really like and it's super lightweight it just feels lovely so it's literally my skin color which is really nice so it's just hiding the blemishes the imperfections that I just want to cover and just making my skin look a lot more radiant i'm just, I'm just going to blend that in i just show you the first layer to show you how light coverage this is so it is super lightweight so i'm just going to go in with one more pump just like that that's what i love about it as well it kind of gives you a measurement of how much to put on your face and i'm just going to add it to the the places that i want a bit more coverage and i love using a beauty blender because i feel like it just really helps even out the makeup looks super flawless so i've been really enjoying that at the moment 
And then I'm going to go in with the Trini London Concealer. This is the Trini London BFF Serum Eye Concealer. And I'm in the shade Maisie. Designed for under eye area, peptide, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid to help deliver hydration and minimise the appearance of dark circles. And it comes with a really clever applicator, like a metal applicator. So it's really cool. And then that's going to do a lymphatic drainage at the same time as applying concealer. So it's a pretty much like a free in one product so you're applying concealer some beneficial ingredients in there which is going to help with reducing dark circles and then also you're doing a lymphatic drainage so that's just going to really help depuff the eyes and it's such a lovely product itself as well super lightweight and just tap that all in so and then i'm just going to go in with my bare minerals concealer because it's a little bit more heavier than the the trini london concealer and i'm just going to apply it on any blemishes that i have that i just want a bit more help covering up like so i like to let that sit for a bit um so i'm just gonna put a bit of lip balm on and this is the lano lips 101 ointment i'm just going to blend that in i like to just do it really gently so i'm not budging anything that's the base really lovely really light so i'm just gonna go in with the rest of my makeup and i'm just gonna put you on a time lapse in my way I've been loving House is making a little coffee. The Trini London Lady J. This is stunning. It's a lip to cheek product. And I really love it on my lips. It's really nice with, I've been applying it with the Pillow Talk Lip Cheek Pillow Talk Who Medium by Charlotte Tilbury. Those together really mix so nicely. And then you can apply this also on your cheeks as well. That is my makeup look for today. Now I'm just gonna go and do my hair. I've just applied heat protection on it and some oils. I like to let that soak in before i then like instantly blow dry it and um, just to give it a little bit of time to like sink in and also as well to let my hair dry a little bit more naturally it's feeling super fresh today so yeah so i'm going to blow dry my hair and then i'll catch you guys in a bit so i have had a bit of a run around morning i've just filmed four different types of content and it just organized the house just also filmed a little realm where real real wearing this little little dress which is really cute this is from pretty lavish and i got my fendi sandals out i'm so happy to get them out again i love these so much so yeah so i've just done this we are just about to make some lunch actually in a bit because i have my lovely friend jess coming over we're gonna sit in the garden and have lunch outside she's done a little bit of a picnic prep and so have we so that's really exciting but i think i've got half an hour until she comes over so i'm just going to sort myself out and yeah i will show you what we eat yeah oh good evening guys i have had a nightmare with hay fever oh my goodness so i've taken the last couple of days off just because i've been really struggling but i think the last time i vlogged with you was when i had lunch with my friend jess because we were allowed to eat and like we'll meet people for like a picnic or something outside so she came over for some lunch which was so lovely and then she kind of left and we kind of got the goodie bits she made this insane tahini dressing oh my god she just made us a quinoa and we were just like yeah please give it to us pretty much taken and not the day off admin but just filming and shooting and everything like that which is unfortunate because the sun has been just wonderful so i've actually done a proper spring clean my room is all nice and clean i've actually done a little spring clean with my closet so i went upstairs i've got all my summer clothes upstairs and just did a bit of a detox which was very handy really enjoyed doing that today's really muggy it's wednesday and it hasn't been sunny but it's just very muggy and hot which is really weird because apparently it's gonna get really cold again which is just bonkers apparently it's gonna snow in some places which is just mad i have another orthodox on disappointment which is very exciting so yeah so hells is cooking a delightful curry we've finally got some batter back in our life because as base as they just literally ran out of batter all the time we gutted weren't we it's the best 
Oh wow. We're gonna have this, watch the bowl type, which we've just been absolutely loving. We went on a really lovely walk. It's just so nice outside, but just so busy. So we're kind of thankful to be coming home <laughs> to our lovely little humble abode. So yeah, so actually, I think tonight after dinner, we're going to be doing some face masks. Have a little bit of a pamper. Oh, also my mum sent me some lovely flowers. Some pretty, pretty flowers. Look how gorgeous they are. And then I actually also, I got this from Bare Minerals. I can't remember if I showed you or not. Came as a PR gift. Unfortunately, the vase broke. But luckily downstairs, she had loads of spare vases, plant pots. So that looks super cute. And it's actually a really nice table display plant because it kind of looks like a flower. It's beautiful. Oh, it does have a kick. So this is the end result. Looks yeah. super delicious. Get that in a restaurant, babes. You would get that in a restaurant. But they wouldn't get that service, would they? Hey. hey. Yeah. I'm using the Golden Glow Advanced Clinic Formulation Mask. Can you imagine people looking into our window? <laughs> They're gonna be like, what the hell? What is it when they wear like the mask? Oh my god, don't. Chucky or whatever. It's like a saw man though. No? Oh, saw, yeah. Stunning. Stunning. We're gonna be new women. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a new face after this. <laughs> <laughs> We look awful. But we're gonna look beautiful in a minute. I'm gonna be 10 years younger. Stunning. Oh my goodness, what a day. So I have just got home from the dentist, which is exciting. I feel like I should just give you like a quick catch up or what's happening. I feel like this is quite jump in, jump out. And the reason why it's been a little bit more probably jump in, jump out, I actually can't speak because my half of my side of my lip is numb. So I am looking to get my teeth done actually. Lovely friend Sarah, you probably know her as Sarah Ellen Photography and she does and she does my photography. Her friend Tina is a orthodontist and has kindly got in contact with me to potentially do some work with her. So I've been twice now to the dentist, kind of going for like a bit of a consultation, get them to look at my teeth, what we can do with them. I'm not gonna show you in my mouth because I feel like that's just disgusting, but one of, two of the options that they are offering me is to either get Invisalign or to get bonding on the front of my teeth. As you can see, I have quite straight teeth anyway as you can see it's quite up and down at the top of my mouth so that's what I'm just trying to look at I'm quite happy with them but I would love the possibility of maybe just fixing it a little bit it's something that I think would just work really well with my oh my god you can actually see <laughs> it's like moving in there maybe it's something that would just make me feel maybe it's not something that I want to feel it's just more so that I know that I could really benefit from it it would just look a lot more better I've just asked to go for like a natural kind of look so today we took some photos, x-rays, just to really see what is going on in my mouth. And the reason why my mouth is numb is because I had a filling redone, which was amazing. That's why my face is numb. So yeah, I have to let that calm down. House has just gone to the park to go and see some friends, which is lovely. So what I'm gonna do is catch up on work. I missed an event as well, which is really annoying. It was a Fenty event, but it's fine. Like really thankful, excited, and very grateful for the opportunity I get with Tina and orthodontist. I'm really excited to show you my journey. Haven't really shown you much at the moment because we are kind of seeing the opportunity of what we can do with my teeth and then I will show you the process. But today we just cleaned them, had a look at them, filling. And yeah, so really interested in that. Gone away with some homework. Um, I feel like every dentist tells you to do this but I need to floss more. Also as well, get Sensodyne toothpaste. It's a little bit more dear than other toothpaste company brands but it's really good for your teeth and it does the job. Tina was just like, ignore these fluoride free toothpaste. Fluoride's actually apparently quite good for protecting your teeth against sensitivity, decaying, dirt and things like that. It's just going to really help cleaning and looking after your teeth, as Tina said. And I feel like you should listen to a dentist. <laughs> so yeah, so I've gone away with homework for that and then I also need to order some toothpaste mousse mm, because it's going to really help and I just have to rub it on. I'll show you when I get it and then I can talk to you through it probably better without this lip. It's Thursday. Oh my God, I can't believe, bless myself. Why am I trying to talk to you guys on it? Thursday now, so Jackie P night tonight, bit of wine. But you want you.
sweat from pores and crap. Honestly, it feels like I've got a hole there. It feels like I've got no lip. It's funny because it's like your lip is normal there and it looks smaller this side. Yeah. Are those like the muscles? Yeah. Or? But literally, when I'm drinking from that, it feels like that's not, doesn't exist. Yeah, I actually think it must be your muscles. When I speak, like, so relaxed. But if I yeah. speak to you like this, like, hello, but I end up going like, the other way. you're doing well so it is friday now the beginning of the long easter holiday weekend i am off to greenwich actually it's going to be really cute i'm going with my friend liv I haven't been to greenwich in a very long time but i thought i'd show you quickly what i'm wearing i'm just wearing this black outfit with my fendi sandals black body jeans and trench coat wasn't too sure what the weather's going to be like so i've just thought i'd stick to black a bit of color and a bit of sandal because i feel like the weather may change i'm not too sure but i thought i'd wear this this outfit and then I have brought another outfit with me just in case I want to shoot it see how I feel but it's super lightweight so it depends on how I feel and the weather but yeah I'm gonna get going soon I just thought I'd quickly show my outfit I've done my usual Friday my usual Friday get ready with me ready with me some hair content and a matcha reel which is lovely so yeah so I'm heading off hopefully the weather kind of clears up today <laughs> It is Saturday. I've had a really productive morning. I filmed my 6am morning routine. I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to apply it into this vlog or just do a whole separate vlog, a whole separate video in general. But I have just got my H&M order, which is really exciting. I haven't really ordered. It's a very, very random mix, but I thought I would give you a little unboxing, a bit of a show and tell of what I've ordered. Basically, my idea is to do a little April the 12th outfit inspo just to get people inspired and also me inspired i really enjoy making these videos because then i have outfits that i want to wear in the bank which is incredible so i thought i'd go through what i've picked up there are some things that i have got my eye on h&m as well which haven't arrived yet so i will be doing those in a different vlog but i know you guys really like these kind of vlog unboxing videos so i thought i would do it in this one and then the 12th of april will be a separate video so without further ado i'm gonna open the box and see what we've got okay so first up is this beautiful dress it's like a really pretty ditzy dress i just thought this was just a really lovely throw on it's got some really nice splits in the dress i got my normal size which is a size eight probably could have gone down a size i think i got it in a small so i could have gone down an extra small but i actually do love the drop on this i think it's so beautiful and flattering has a lot of room as well so it doesn't feel very clingy and it has buttons all the way up the top of the dress the front of the dress and then it's got these beautiful bellow sleeves i think they're so beautiful and this would be really nice paired with a pair of trainers or some sandals or even with some heels a really nice throw on dress this could be a really lovely traveling dress or coffee day going out for the day but then also as well you could dress this up with like a black blazer and some heels and i think that would look so beautiful so i'm really happy with this dress i think i will do a bit of a styling video with it because i think it's super beautiful so really happy with it next up is this skirt please bear with me i am wearing some black knickers underneath so if you can see them i apologize but i've just paired it with my favorite little kind of rib shearling top which i just absolutely love i got it ages ago from boohoo and it's just been a die hard favorite of mine but this is how i would probably style wearing this dress either with sandals or even just with trainers just to really casual it down a really nice denim jacket or a blazer it does have 
have a layer. It does have a second layer underneath, but still, I would really recommend just wearing some nude undies. Other than that, I just think this is such a beautiful skirt, and it would be really nice as well to really casual down with like a just plain t-shirt and again like a denim jacket. I think that would look super cute as well. Oh, I've got myself into trouble. Why do why do I do this? Honestly, I absolutely love every piece I pick, which I want to show to you guys, and then I just want to keep it. How flattering is this dress? I am really in two maxi dresses at the moment because they're just so lightweight and super easy to wear in the summer and there's no, you don't actually have to think about putting a lot of thought into the outfit, you just chuck on a dress and you are ready to go and just chuck on some sandals or some trainers. This piece is just absolutely stunning. I'm really into this animal print. I think it's actually a really lovely pattern. It's this really soft material as well and as you can see the, the hemline here, it just stops here and then just does a little tiny pleat floated out just to give a little bit of style to the dress and yeah I really like that it's long sleeve and it has some buttons which stop around here and then go up. A really lovely piece again with some trainers, a basket bag, I think they would look absolutely stunning. Okay I'm not 100% sure these go well together but I wanted to try them on just to show you. I ordered these really lovely chinos, they're in this really beautiful kind of like a teal olive sagey colour but I think they're so lovely and really flattering and they go a bit high-waisted and then I did order this blouse which I don't think actually goes with the trousers I might try it on with a pair of shorts but at the moment I'm not really feeling it because it just bellows outwards it does look really sweet let me try on with some shorts oh yes that is so much better I've just put it on with my Amy Lynn shorts that I kindly received a couple of weeks ago I've been dying to get these out but it's just not the right weather for them but I absolutely love them but anyway <laughs> onto the H&M unboxing this looks so much much better with a tighter waist and which flares out I think if you wore these with some flared trousers that would look really sweet as well but I think this is such a cute outfit I really love it I just feel like it puts really put together but definitely wear a nude bra <laughs> I've picked the wrong underwear to wear when I'm trying on this haul but yeah I definitely wear it with a nude bra loads of gold jewelry and I think this is super beautiful definitely paired with a pair of high heels some nude accessories like a really lovely bag or a brown bag I think that'll look beautiful as well or some black accessories to make it a little bit more nightwear but I just think this is absolutely stunning. Now I've styled it right with the right trousers or the right kind of sit here. This looks super lovely. I really love this outfit. I am desperate for warmer weather. Honestly Tuesday was just so lovely. I think we all are in need of that again but yeah really adore this blouse. I think it looks very sweet with this outfit and just really casual but still puts put really together and I actually now like this cinched in elastic bit because it's perfect for crop tops. Some blouses it's really hard to like tuck in where this sits perfectly and cinches in a bit so you don't have to worry about tucking it in. It just kind of actually does it naturally for you and I've actually unbuttoned it as well which I think looks really lovely. I really love this outfit. I definitely think I'm going to be keeping this shirt. Okay this is not a very me dress. Not massive fan on the stomach area but it does look really cute. It's this really lovely. I think it'd actually be quite a hot fabric. It's not very breathable but it's really soft. It's kind of like this style of like a tie waist shirt dress. This would be really lovely when going for drinks and stuff like that but also really nice to casually it down. I think I would have gone for a, a larger size maybe. I don't know. I just don't think it really suits my figure or style very much but I can imagine this being a so beautiful and so many people with some little heels or some trainers. I think that would look so super cute but just because of my boobies I don't think I'm a massive fan of this so this is a no for me but I can I can get on board like it could look really lovely but just wearing it straight away I do not feel comfortable just a personal opinion you may think differently but it just doesn't make me feel that comfortable really love the style of it though and the idea of it but yeah not a massive fan of this one what do you guys think I think this one I'm not too sure. What a lovely chuck on dress. I'm all for dresses like this. This is such a lovely embroidery little shirt dress and it's got the beautiful finish at the bottom which I think is so lovely. It comes with a little slip on underneath and I think that just hides so lovely. I think it's just such a lovely, very elegant like throw on dress with some trainers or some heels. You could really dress this up and this would be absolutely stunning. I really enjoy this outfit. I think it's so beautiful. 
and with a little bag and some heels I think you could really dress it up to look super lovely really happy with this and I don't think it was that expensive but I think it's one of those dresses which is going to last in your wardrobe for such a long time you can wear this on holiday you can wear this in the UK as well just day-to-day -day wear it's super lightweight which is so lovely but still a thick material so it's not going to flow up which is something I really look for in a short dress but I think it's so stunning and even though it is a drop dress I think it's actually really pretty and really elegant I think I just went for a small let me check okay so I went for an extra small very spacious which actually I'm really enjoying and I think that looks so sweet imagine this like in the park on picnics just such a lovely dress um not over the top as well but you can really dress this up for lunch times and just day-to-day -day wear and like I said for holidays traveling I just think this dress is absolutely beautiful so I really like this and I really like the embroidery top I think that was a really stunning piece as well but I could also imagine this with some trainers a little basket bag I think that would look so cute even though I may have the wrong underwear on <laughs> Oh my god, you can see my black underwear. But yeah, I really am on board with this one. I just think that's so lovely. You can also wear this like as an oversized shirt in the summer on the beach. I just want to go on the beach. But yeah, I think this is such a lovely outfit. And with some heels, I think that would look super cute. And then again with some trainers. I just think that's a really lovely outfit. I don't know what to do with a bow. I'm not really a cinch in waist person. Let me but yeah, I don't want to do like a proper bow. Like that's what it looks like. Kind of loose like just undone so it still looks really nice just undone if you're not a like waist kind of person as well I don't have to do it in the middle that doesn't really I don't think that really sits right I feel like I need to look at my friend Liv she's usually good at doing belts and stuff or do I just get a separate belt I'll just do a different just a normal bow also as well I just want to got to play with the materials that's one thing I'd say it's one of those dresses you do have to play with the material to get it in the right place what do you think to go tighter yeah what do you guys think keep or not I don't know I like shirts I like oversized shirt styles so I thought I would be on board oh I guess with this dress I think it is really cute yeah let me know what you guys think it's super comfortable um but again with the belt you have to really like tuck it in and stuff it's cute though Okay, so I'm not too sure if anyone would like this dress and also plus don't know if you can see it But it's definitely a really good run around the house dress um, I'm trying to style this bow bit here, but I'm having no luck So basically let me show you basically it's like excuse the mess behind me So basically it's like a dress like that which looks even just cool on its own like I love wearing dresses like this in the summer just like really lovely throw on dresses but it's got this bow at the front so it would have to be just like this I don't know yeah I'm just trying to figure out how to coolly do it like just kind of like a rust rustic kind of tie vibe and I've just put it on with my Fendi sandals just so I can give you an idea this is just one of those dresses I feel like you just get so much wear out of them and they're just so easy to wear like they're just they look super smart and have a really nice split down the leg and if I did have a have it ironed I think it would actually look really lovely with a basket bag or my Chloe bag to really dress it up I just think it's a really nice floaty dress to have in your wardrobe and it's super comfortable let me just play around with it and see what I can do but I really love the material it's this really light soft crepe kind of material maybe we undo that one okay it just looks really like cute maybe I've got this too high I just like how I like the pattern of the shoulders to sit a bit upwards um, because I think that lifts your shoulders so maybe if I just do it okay maybe a bit lower or a bit tighter it looks like a caftan doesn't it it gives me definitely a lot of shape I think that's just it I think it's just going to be one of those very Mediterranean oversized chuck on shirts like for an everyday outfit and then you could style this up with some trainers it actually just looks really effortlessly elegant and very stylish without kind of trying i feel like this would be a really lovely holiday piece to have in your wardrobe just to chuck on to go down to the beach okay so i've tried to style the blouse again with these trousers again <laughs> this haul was needed for nude pants but hey ho so i'm wearing these like really nice stone 
linen trousers. Let me just put my saladas on. And yeah, with the blouse, I think that just looks really lovely. I've actually had to roll the, I've actually had to roll the trousers up because I'm a little bit too short. But yeah, I really like these. I think they're such lovely trousers to have in your wardrobe, just super lightweight. And I actually really like it with this blouse. Again, because I'll show you undone. It sits like this, so you can just tuck it in and it just gives that really nice tucked in effect, but not like scrunching up under the trousers, which I think is a really lovely style of the, the blouse. So I'm definitely keeping this blouse because I think it's so beautiful and so elegant. Just look at those bellow sleeves. I wanted to quickly show you the bag also ordered with this outfit because I think this outfit and this bag go so well together. It is this lovely leather kind of crochet bag, which I think is just so lovely. Look how spent expensive that looks. And also as well, it's going to last you. I'm really sorry. I absolutely love these basket bucket bags. I think they're absolutely stunning. I just think I'm going to ruin them and they're just not going to hold its time. But I really like this bag. I think that just looks super lovely if you had like a really nice, if you've got like a little linen duster bag that you can just pop that in there so it looks after your bits and bobs. Yeah, I really like this outfit. I think this looks so lovely and I definitely think I'm going to shoot this tomorrow. I wanted to quickly show you the bag like this. So stunning. It's a really good size as well. I would have actually liked it to be a bit bigger so I could wear it a lot more but it's actually a really good size just like day to day if you don't want to have a small bag but you're going like for coffees and stuff like that yeah really good size just put on these jeans as well with this blouse because this blouse just goes with everything these are such lovely jeans i ordered them in this like really nice cream color and i returned them and i'm like literally they're sold out and they're just such incredible jeans they're super comfy and i can't believe i returned them i don't know why i did as well they fit a tiny bit differently i think these are a little bit thicker i don't know if it's just the dye of them really nice jeans and again looks really nice with this blouse blouse is a winner really nice these jeans are really nice as well really flattering and also have that kind of straight look and they're stretchy as well which is what i love in jeans i like a bit of a stretchy jean so last piece of the haul is this linen style blazer which is just beautiful i think it's such a lovely color as well and it's got this really nice tortoise button so it really casuals it down and i just think that linen material just is so beautiful i really like this outfit all and all. I think this is just such a nice casual day-to-day -day outfit, especially with the sandals. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so much wear out of these again. But yeah, no, really lovely outfit. Really like this blazer. Probably would have gone for a bit of an oversized. It feels a little bit hugging and I'm a bit of a fan of an oversized fit. You probably know that already. But, but yeah, really lovely. Love this outfit. And I just think a cream blazer, and especially a cream linen blazer, you just cannot go wrong with. It just goes with so much. And it's just a little bit different to a black blazer. This material actually reminds me of the Jacquemus blazers this kind of like this kind of stiff linen-y material which is so lovely really happy with that so yeah this is my H&M haul I hope you enjoyed that I'm going to carry on now with some filming I've got bits and bobs to do I'm going to film just ways to style maybe this top I'm going to do like a bottomless brunch kind of styling I'm not gonna try and do everything today but I would really like to do a bit because I've still got time as it's a Saturday. I have all the time in the world and it's a bank holiday weekend. I'm working on a bank holiday weekend. I don't know, I just really enjoy it. I just feel like this, I love my job so much and I wanted to try on these outfits to see if there's anything to wear over the weekend. But yeah, I just feel like I've got four days where no one is emailing or messaging me. I mean, you can hear my phone going off in the background. But, but yeah, I just feel really inspired at the moment so I just want to get some bits and bobs done. Everything will be linked down below so I hope you enjoy that. I'm gonna crack on and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, la, 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 la.